The types of rabbits I raise in my rabbitry are New Zealand, Californian, and Rex rabbits. Hello everyone, Paul here at Broken Arrow Farm. Broken Arrow Farm is a small family farm. We have several enterprises within our farm working together to make a profit and be successful. So rabbits are one of those enterprises here on our farm. Today we're inside the rabbitry. It's about 20 below outside, so very, very bitterly cold. Cold snap we're having right now. But today, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the Rex Rabbit. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Rex Rabbit out of the cage here and show you guys what a Rex Rabbit looks like. All right, so this is a black Rex rabbit, a buck rabbit to be exact. So the Rex rabbit originated in 1919 in France by a monk who discovered a unique mutation in a wild rabbit in a litter of rabbits in France. That unique mutation being the Rex rabbit fur. So the Rex rabbit fur is very short, very plush. It's about a half inch thick, as you can see right there. So their fur, unlike other rabbits, his, this fur stands straight up. So there is no laying down or anything like that. It stands straight up just like that. It's very soft and very plush. So very soft, very velvety feeling to this fur. I'm gonna grab a New Zealand. I'll just show you what their fur looks like compared to a Rex. Here is a New Zealand rabbit. So see how his fur is long? and it has what's called a flyback. You do that and it's supposed to lay back down in place. And New Zealand's fur is more like a cat or a dog, unlike the Rex rabbit. All right, here's another rabbit here, another Rex. This is what's called a chocolate rabbit here. So the Rex rabbit arrived to the United States in 1924. So Rex rabbits have been in the US for 100 years as of this year, so that's pretty awesome. So with their weights being in that weight range, they are what's called a dual purpose rabbit. So they originated for their fur and then their meat as well. So just like you have a dual purpose breed chicken, maybe for eggs and for meat production, this is a dual purpose breed rabbit for the fur and the meat. Now the Rex rabbit in the rabbit world is called the king of rabbits just because of its velvety, its very plush fur. They call it the king of rabbits. Now, the Rex Rabbit does have a very docile temperament. That's why I, one of the reasons I like them and also very good mothering skills. So these guys can be pretty docile and don't take a whole lot to work with them to tame them down. A pretty tame rabbit breed altogether. I started raising these guys when I was in 4-H several years ago. So I've been raising rabbits for about a combined time of 30 years. And the breeds I started with were New Zealand and then Rex Rabbits. So I've always had Rex Rabbits uh, in my rabbit raising endeavor. What breeds of rabbits are you guys raising right now or looking into raising if you're going to start raising rabbits? So the Rex rabbit remains the number one rabbit used for fur production in the world right now. Something else that is, is very cool and very neat with Rex rabbits is all the different colors and varieties that you can get with these guys. So like I said, I also raised New Zealand. I raised just the whites for years, but then I switched it up to uh, start with some reds and some blacks and some blues just to get some color in there. But the thing with the Rex, 16 standardized colors, that's way more than a New Zealand or a lot of breeds out there. So very cool of the colors that you can get with the Rex rabbit. 16 colors. I don't have them all. I wish I did. I've got some of them. There's also some colors out there that aren't standardized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association, meaning they can produce those colors, such as a Harlequin or a tricolor. But however, you can't show them and they're not recognized as a recognized color yet within the American Rabbit Breeders Association standard. All right, I'm going to run through those 16 colors right now. Amber, black, otter, blue, broken, Californian, Castor, Chinchilla, Chocolate, Lilac, Lynx, Opal, Red, Sable, Seal, and White. So a very awesome mix of colors you can get with these guys, which is one of the reasons I enjoy raising them and I also raise them because I raise meat rabbits and uh, these guys are meat rabbits and fur producing rabbits as well. I'm just gonna go through some of my cages real quick here and just show you what colors I do have in my rabbitry currently right now.
So what are some cons with Rex Rabbits? What are some bad things that I don't like about the Rex Rabbit? So a con to some folks could be, to me it doesn't really matter, but one con is that it takes one to two weeks longer for the fryers to get to market weight than it would for let's say a New Zealand Rabbit. That's through my experience anyway. Another con would be uh, sore hocks, meaning there's that short plush fur on the bottom of their feet. If they don't have the proper cage mats in their cage, which I give them cage mats so they have adequate cage protection, but they can develop sore hocks a lot easier than any of the other breeds that's got that thicker fur on the bottom of their feet. Another con is that uh, I do sell some Penna 3 rabbits to 4-H'ers and FFA members and Everybody wants Rex because of the cool color or the cool fur, but what I've seen out there is that the Pen of Three, the Meat Pen of Three Rex Rabbits will not compete against the Californians and the New Zealands. Yes, a Rex is still a meat rabbit, but like I said, it takes them a little bit longer to get to maturity, so at fair time, they're usually a little bit smaller than the other breeds of rabbits. So there was a, a beginning of a series of a rundown of one breed of rabbits in my rabbit tree. I think maybe next I'll hit up uh, New Zealand or Californian. What would you guys like to see? Drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go ahead and post a video at the end of this video called Starting with Meat Rabbits. So if you're just starting out with meat rabbits or maybe you're new to meat rabbits or you wanna learn more about raising meat rabbits, go ahead and check out this video right there down below. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.